Hi, um, my name probably doesn't matter right now, but uh, what I'm trying to show you with this video is um, how to save some money um, converting PDF um, um, practice test to an engine that you can use it as something like Boston testing or transcenders or any of those engines. Um, there's actually something called the Visual Exam Manager um, or VC in short. Um, if you go to their website, um, their full personal license, it costs um, twenty four ninety five. I recommend you buy this little tool. It's really good. Um, this is the first um, thing that you, one of the first things you will need. You also uh, will need another tool called the Exam Formatter. Um, I believe this tool is free, um, and you could download it. Um, you know, off the internet. You could do PDF images, you know, if, if, if it, there is images, it would export them and all that. So in essence, um, as you can see, you have your PDF document here. Um, you know, reading this is kind of cumbersome for those that, like me that don't like to read and then see the answer. You know, you really would like to learn the question and how it is and so all that. And, and to make, to be able to do that, you know, and then you scroll down, you messed up that you already see the answer to the question. And, I don't like that so I was looking for an alternative for that um, if you go to the um, actual tests uh, website you will see that um, there are uh, multiple options in here to you know if you want to get the exam engine for a year and and or you know but this is only applicable to um, actual tests and it's a lot more expensive than the solution that I'm going to provide you so again, you will need the virtual X um, cert suite, and you will need a PDF document with your questions, and you will need the um, exam um, formatter software. So let's go step by step. The first step is, um, as you can see, I already copied one PDF document here. That's the same PDF document that I have open here as the exchange. Server 2010 configuring and so forth 7662. Um, this is not only for Microsoft Test. You could do any other um, company. So basically, um, that is already open, but we don't need it to be open. I just wanted to demonstrate to you what kind of test. Actual Test is a good company. You should go and um, open a membership with them. It's a lifetime one um, membership, so it's pretty neat. Um, so. Um, the first step again is to open the exam formatter dot executable. It's a neat little tool. Basically, you just click file, import. You take the PDF and you import that PDF. As you can see, it recognizes all the questions automatically. It knows, um, you know, um, all the different questions, the different answers, and and all that. At this point, what you gotta do is very simple. You just file, um, save as. You click file, save as, and you export the formatted um, test that you just you just took the content of the of the PDF as a text file. Basically, that's all you did this ex this exam formatter, and um, you can save it in any area. I'm, I'm gonna put it on my desktop just for the matter of finding it faster. But you can create a folder. And have everything on a folder, a training folder, or something to that effect. Save. Okay, that's all we need to do with the exam formatter. We could close that now. Now, if um, the next step it will be go to the um, all programs and you go to the virtual cert exam suite and open the cert exam designer. Here we click file, we click import, next. Uh, we select the rich text format because that's what we, we selected as exported in the other as area with the exam formatter. We click browse. We go to the desktop. I should find my rich text document. Double click that. As you can see, it, it partially recognizes everything in there. Um, you click next. Um, what I do is I select the prefix number without a dot or separate line. Um, and I click next. 
and it seems to be recognizing all the options as you can see click next import and if you want to make any modifications to like the title like if you want to put the actual name in here for you know the test you could do this you know um, and things of that nature the number the file version if you want to you know what's the passing score if Microsoft says that this one is actually 750 you could change that and you know do whatever you want to do in here then you do file save as and you do a you know VCE format because that's the format that the VCE will recognize the player right so I'm gonna put it on my desktop for, for the sake of um, saving time right now save so that's the second step now the last step step in the process is you take your visual um, for exam manager you open it uh, I'm gonna delete this one because I already had added it before so you don't you know you see step by step you click add you go to your desktop you're gonna see that you will find that VCE because that's the extension for that engine open it adds the information for the test and then you just click start it's gonna ask you if you want to put a candidate name in here and you put whatever name it is you know Santa whatever and um, you click OK and it will bring the information for the test the passing score you know I set it up at 750 as you remember so now as you can see the benefit of having this format is that you have now the capability of not seeing the answer as a more um, test engine like you will see and take it in your real life scenario so you know I can select the wrong answer here and you click show answer you know that was actually the right answer but if you select the wrong answer you see it will give you the the I guess that one's good huh I hope I wish I could do the same thing on the real test anyway but you know let, let's do that again okay there you go you see that you know um, that's the wrong answer and so forth so, so you get the point so I hope this video helps you um, that is informative for you. and I say bye um, it's my first training video and I hope it's of all of your interest thank you so much